Thank you for attending tonight's concert. Our free concerts are brought to you by the City of Kenosha and sponsors and patrons, friends like you. And we want to give special thanks once again to Hoffman's Auto and Tire, our sponsor for tonight's concert. We thank them for their generosity. And how about another round of applause for our special guest tonight, Miss Kenosha, Willow Newell. Wherever you are, Willow, great to have you with us. I know she's here somewhere. Next Wednesday night, we invite you to hear the band in the magnificent acoustical setting of Siebert Chapel on the campus of Carthage College, right up the road. A very special concert titled, A Tribute to Frank Geminaro. As we remember our beloved conductor emeritus uh, through some of his favorite music that he programmed frequently with the band during his long tenure as its conductor. Special guests next week will include Sandy Wade and Frank's daughter, Andrea Germinaro. We hope that you will plan to be with us next Wednesday night. In 1958, the Warner Brothers studio launched Warner Brothers Records, initially releasing television soundtrack recordings, as well as recordings made by their television stars, whether they could sing or not. A group of studio musicians dubbed the world-famous Warner Brothers Military Band was assembled under the baton of Henry Mancini to release several albums of American marches, including an album of some of John Philip Sousa's finest. We'll send you marching home with a march heard on that 1958 album from Warner Brothers, Sousa's The Invincible Eagle. And with it, we bid you good night and thank you again for being here. <laughs>